Oh, I wouldn't do this one here. This one's perfect. Right, right. Come on, King. Come on, come on. This is the last one. Uh, this right here. So awkward running with a fucking dog. Man. Imagine calling me fucking, imagine calling me mate. How entitled is that, mate, you know? Doesn't sound good, it sounds very common. Calling someone mate sounds very, very common. Not ladylike. Um, right, we need to find someone else. Uh, see, if this was Friday or Saturday now, it would be very easy to, uh, to um, find someone, because obviously, uh, it's a lot busier Friday, Saturday, but I'm going to, should be able to find someone down here. Yes, How are you doing, man? You good? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Well, I've been trying the other Indians, man. Yeah, yeah, last week I went to like, obviously I've been here. That one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah, man, just been trying it. It's nice, bro, yeah. Take it, man. Yeah, man. I'll come back soon, yeah? See ya, bro. Yeah, that's how known I am, bro. Recognise me straight away. Might as, well live, might as well live here, me. No one's really come up about the dog, to be honest, except that American person. I don't know what's wrong with him. What are you doing, man? Dog, what the fuck are you doing, silly dog? Let's see if I can just find someone walking. Or sitting somewhere, I can do it, but I can't. I can't find anyone. <sighs> right, let me pause and. Do they remember me for like two years? Well, I went there. Um, not so long ago actually. Um. Should we do another? Right, we need to find something, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this person before they walk past. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this person. Excuse me. Excuse me, sorry, before you walk past me, I wanted to say that you look cute. Thank you. So, uh, what's your name? I have a boyfriend. The dog says you're lying. What? The dog thinks you're lying. He's no, he's not. He's lying. <laughs> oh, well, King. Do you know what, man? At least you come out with me today and you, you, you kept me entertained. And for that, you do deserve a bagel. Thought he was talking to me then, because he was so. No near. Yeah, ma'am. So that's another uh, example of they don't get to know you. They don't get to know your personality. They don't get to know if you live with your mum, your dad, your brother, your half brother, your half sister before they make up these excuses that they have a boyfriend. And Liverpool Street is one of the worst places for these entitled people. Um, they, the thing is with the people in this country and America and Canada, America, Australia, all these, all these, is that they're very, very entitled and they've got very, very, very high standards. So 
It doesn't matter what you say to them, who you live with, what your confidence level is like. All of, none, of, none of that stuff matters. They're always going to say to you that they've got boyfriends or they give you the run around or you know whatever. Like, and it's only and it's only getting worse. And then this country and it's only getting worse. Um, so that's how it is. So they don't get to know you. They don't go on dates with you. Um, they don't get to know anything about you. As you can see, you can't tell someone and what someone's like from the first word that they say. And that's why I always say, you know, uh, dogs are good because they stay with you forever and they're very loyal. And, you know, as long as you feed them and you walk them and you treat them good, they'll be, they will be with you forever. You know, whereas these women, they're snakes, they're evil, they're entitled, they're all of these things. Um, so, yeah, to uh, sum up what happened today, yeah, got uh, one one snapchat and then they deleted me three unenthusiasms and one i've got a boyfriend that's just typical but normally you get more i've got a boyfriend than uh than you usually do but don't worry king i've still got you so yeah i've noticed not that many people actually like dogs you know because there's only there was only one american that said it and nah. So, going out was uh, going out approaching with you King, thinking that it was going to be different was a complete and utter waste of time so yeah well and I've done my hair nice today freshened up a little bit yeah but anyways got to feed him his bagel and that's it